So welcome back. We are moving forward with the next part of our Shopify tutorial. So the last part that I ended on was inside the domains category. So if you went to online stores and you went to domains, this is going to look different than what you have on your screen. However, we're if you refresh your screen or you click on domains now, this is what should pop up as far as the, the uh, domains that you purchase for your stuff. I also did purchase the other domain of uh, foreversong.com from GoDaddy. So right now I'm just waiting for that whole process to transfer over because it was a, a premium domain. So there's some other stuff going on behind the scenes with that that have, to, that have to get taken care of. So I'll show you all how to transfer that domain later on. All right. So from here, you want to go back to your home screen. And if you look on your home screen, you'll notice that there's a check mark next to your ad domain for uh, setup payments. It shouldn't be a check mark. However, there is, but we'll dive into that later. So from here, we're going to start on our settings menu. So go down to your lower left hand corner, click on settings and all these different tabs are going to pop up all these different options to click on. So for us, we're going to go ahead and do this video for our general settings. So of course our store name, we wanna keep it at Forever Song. Um, you can change your store name. However, if you take out Shopify Capital later on down the road, if you owe any money to Shopify to pay off that um, pretty much a loan, you cannot change your name until that loan is fully paid off. So just know that whatever store name you pick, honestly, I would just stick with it whether I had Shopify Capital or not. Next up is your store contact email. Of course, we have our email address. You, you know, do the same thing. Put your email address. Um, a lot of this information may already be filled out uh, for your sender email. This is the customers. Your uh, your customers will see this email if you email them um, for your store contact email. We will use this email if we need to contact you about the store. So if you want your personal email right there, um, just to get easier contact with you, you can put your personal right here, but you can leave the other one for your sender email, leave that as your business name. For a store industry, we're still leaving it on handcrafts. Legal name of business. This is just a test run, so we can do forever song. And this is if you, uh, I don't know, if you're doing, uh, uh, doing business as, or if you have an LLC, I can do like forever song LLC. Or, you know just whatever the legal name of your business is i'm gonna just leave it at forever song and if i do decide to go all the way through with it and get an llc then i'll come back in here and add that llc part as well all right and please note over here on the side it says this address will appear on your invoices you can edit the address used to calculate shipping rates and your shipping settings your primary business location could affect which apps can be used on your store so just know whatever information you put here um, it will show up on your invoices. So when it comes down to your phone number, personally, I recommend just getting a Google voice number and or get a second phone, like a second cell phone or something like that. And then you can put that number uh, right here, all right? For us, of course, I'm not putting my information out there like that. So I'll put a fake phone number right there. And if I do decide to go through with it, then you know I'll come back and edit that later. Next up is going to be our street address. Once again, we're using the PO box. So I put 650 uh, South Central Avenue. Personally, I don't recommend using your home address because you don't want people, you know, just popping up at your house and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely recommend doing that. But just know when you have to deal with returns, a return is going to get sent to your P.O. box and not to your home unless you have on forwarding where you can forward from the P.O. box to your house. So just know you may have to go up there, check it every now and then for your returns. City Hateville, uh, put in our zip code. We got our state down. And once again, all this information was copied from when we put it in initially. So come down to time zone. We're in the Eastern Standard Time Zone we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Unit system. If you are in the United States, you are more than likely, like almost 100%, you're using the imperial system, which is going to be pounds, it's going to be inches, it's going to be feet. And, you know so on and so forth but if you are outside of the united states more likely more than likely you're going to use the metric system and that is going to be uh kilograms uh grams uh stuff measured in meters you know and so on and so forth or meters and millimeters and you know so on 
But of course, we in America, so we go put Imperial System. Default weight. So for this one, this is kind of tricky because you can do pounds. However, if you have a scale where you're going to be weighing your stuff, um, you have some stuff that's going to weigh a uh, a percentage of a pound. Like it may be like 1.25 pounds or something like that. So my personal preference, I always recommend ounces and I do everything in ounces because that way you can really dial in uh, more so on your weight and not have to waste time trying to do the whole conversion process. So we can come down to ounces and then so down here this is what you call your prefix this is how it's going to uh, number your orders well not prefix but this is how it's going to number your orders so it says order numbers to start at 1001 by default while you can change the order number itself or can add a prefix or suffix to create IDs like EN 1001 or uh, that's the your prefix is going to be your en or 1001-a and the, the a part is going to be your suffix personally i recommend not touching this at all shopify will pretty much do everything for you and like i said your very first order that you get it is going to be order number 1001 which means your second order is going to be 1002 and so on and so forth and this don't reset so at the end of the year um, when a new when a new year starts, it's not gonna reset it back to one zero zero one. It's gonna keep on going in continuation forever. All right, so I would not touch these at all. And for store currency on the United States, so we're using the U.S. dollar. So from here, we just hit save, either up here in the corner or down here at the bottom, and that's it. So once it hits save, we just come back over here to settings. And then we'll move on to the next tab. All right. So that is it for this video. I will see you all in the very next one. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to join our Facebook group. I'll have that link down, down in the description below. And last but not least, we are the owners of Cosmos Inc. So if you need any type of submission ink for your business, hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you ASAP. All right. That's it. I'll see you all in the next video. Angelo out.